Hello everyone, Fabian's Media Corner 2001, and here's an update video for this week. VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and we game update for September 14th, 2019. Today I'm going to show you the stuff i gotten from eBay, and uh, some Wii games I picked up from GameStop in Odessa, Texas. I will tell you when I got them as we go on. So, and I'm sorry there was no update video last week. I was waiting on two of my VHS tapes to come in from eBay, which they took a lot longer than expected to come. And Monday, they finally came, so it's time to do this update video. So, here we go. We are going to begin with the two VHS tapes that came in from eBay on Monday. That being September 9th. These were in a lot. They're the 2002 VHSs of JJ the Jet Plane, Fun to Learn, and JJ the Jet Plane, Nature's Treasures. Unfortunately, one of them's a fail. So, I'm gonna show off Fun to Learn first. Even though this was not in shrink wrap, this was brand new because the Columbia TriStar stamp was still attached to the tape. All new computer animation contains three adventures. JJ is the perfect companion for preschoolers, says USA Today. Featuring the episodes The Counting Game, JJ Meets Captain Hightower, and JJ and the Magic Books. Look for more volumes. Collect them all. There's ten of them, and so far I have six. I had one. But because of the five I'm going to show the update video, technically four because, well, you'll just have to wait and see with the next tape. All the VHS tapes I'm going to show are all not redo and approximately 40 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Two print dates. Uh, this looks hard to read, but I can actually read this. 19th week of 2000 and the 10th week of 2002. Recycle tape. There's some ways to tell already. And now we go on to the failed one. This could have been the 2002 VHS of JJ the Jet Plane, Nature's Treasures. For the hell of it, I'm gonna read off the information. Contains three adventures. And this features the episodes of... JJ's Butterfly Adventure, The Singing Meadow, and Tuffs Buried, Tuffy's, Tuffs, what, what does it say? Tuffy's Buried Treasure. My apologies. Now, here's the fail. Uh, the server only posted the pictures of the front and back covers of the tapes, not the actual tapes. Like I said, I bought this one. This one came brand new, and I didn't even know until I got it. But this one, this is the fail. Yep, this is the long tape. It came with a, a different tape. Franklin and the Tube Fairy. It looks like a 1997 VHS, but the print date says June 17th, 1999. So I don't know if this is a 1997 VHS or a 1999 VHS. I don't know. I don't have the actual case to it. And I kind of do like Franklin, so I guess I could keep this tape. But the seller did not have the tape I needed, so I ended up getting a refund. And take a look at the film strip on this. Yeah, this tape is pretty badly damaged at the beginning. So I don't think I can do the opening to this one. Because all this black you see over here is all damaged. So, so this tape is... That uh, choked on. Yeah. That's a fail. I'm gonna have to find me another copy of this tape sometime. I tried looking everywhere for a copy of this tape without a case on eBay and Amazon, but I had no luck, so I'm probably gonna have to buy another copy with a case sometime next week. Yeah. And last but not least, the three I got today. 
Unexpectedly, these were shipped on Wednesday and there was no further tracking updated until today. Yeah. The tracking said they would come in today and sure enough, they did. I was very shocked on that. And these tapes were brand new and sealed, but I already opened them up. There's some more JJ the Jet Plane tapes, and they're all from 2002. And this one's new friends, new discoveries. Featuring the episodes of the new plane, Fire Engine Even, and Spending Time with Big Jake. And I'm not going to read around the time we're doing You already know. But here's the tape with the sticker label. Print date is the seventh week of 2002. Next up, JJ the Jet Plane, Friends Take Flight. And this tape features the episodes of... Snuffy's Favorite Color, Super Loop Dealer, and Brenda's Mother's Day. Sticker label, print date the 11th week of 2002. And the last tape I have for this video is Soaring Sky High 2002 VHS. The episodes of Upsy Down Noses, Tracy Sonic Boom, and Hurricane the Opposite Game. Yep. <clears throat> Here's the tape, sticker label, print date, also the 11th week of 2002. Same as uh, Friends Take Flight. And now for the DVDs. Here's the one I got from eBay on... I had to write some stuff down since I got way behind on my update video from last week. I got this DVD on September 3rd, and it is the 2012 DVD of SpongeBob SquarePants, The Seascape Keepers, part of the Super Square Collection. Yep. I bought this one brand new. The episodes are the Fry Cook Games, Bubble Stand, Squid's Day Off, SpongeBob Meets the Strangler, Pranks a Lot, Artist Unknown, Grandma's Kisses, Krusty Love, Craig Boyd, and the Smoking Peanut. Special features of Grandma's Kisses Storyboard. That was the only special feature. Now, the running time is uh, 110 minutes. And the episodes were from 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2004. And here's the disc, which this still contains the original 2004 design. And I also have this on VHS as well. And it came with a poster. Uh, give me a second. I got that DVD. I now own all five of the SpongeBob SquarePants Super Square Collection 2012 DVDs. Yep, and I even have them all in stock number order. Yep, pretty awesome. On to our next DVD. The last two I'm going to show you are the ones I got from Walmart on Wednesday, September. Uh, let me see. Banner. Okay, September 11th, 18 years of the 9-11 attacks happening, so that was an awful day to re remember. Yeah, pretty terrible. Well, here are the DVDs I got from Walmart anyway. Okay, they're both from 2019. This one's uh, Kim Possible. This is a live-action Disney Channel original movie. I believe this was made in 2019, based off the... TV series, the animated one. I also like that. I did used to hate it at one point, but not anymore. I like it again. Ever since I got the 2005 DVD of Disney Channel Holiday, that's when I got back into Kim Possible. High school makes saving the world look easy. So, what's the search? The special features of audition tapes featuring Sidney Stanley as Kim Possible, seeing Kim Bone as Ron Stoppable and Isaac Ryan Brown, Swede. 
Q&A with CD and scene, bloopers and more. Video TVG, running time CD, 6 minutes. And here's the soft whitish disc. Disney Movie Rewards code, which I already used. In case y'all didn't know, movie Disney Movie Rewards is going to be known as Disney Movie Insiders on September 26th. And I was wondering if the older Disney Movie Rewards inserts will still work on these when if I get newer Disney DVDs and Blu-rays. I'm hoping they will still work with Disney Movie Insiders, if not then. We're basically fucked. But well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens then. And here's the last DVD. This is Thomas and Friends Big World Big Adventures, the movie. Thomas at Big Journey. I believe this came out September 11th. I could be wrong. September 10th. September 10th, I think. September 11th is when I got the DVD. I don't know. But this was a newer one. Our Boy Tube Discovery. With the special features of Meet the Characters and five new sing along songs. Not rated, running time is 1 hour 25 minutes, also known as 85 minutes. And if you use the soft blue disc, okay, that's enough, we shall have the blue ace. Okay, I got all the blue ace from eBay. This one came on Friday, September 6th. And this is the 2019 release of Rocket Man. You know what? All the Blu-rays I'm going to be showing you are all 2019 releases and are also 2019 movies. Okay, this one's Rocket Man. Once again, I got on September 6th. Blu-ray DVD Digital. It has Tony Egerton as Elton John. It includes special booklet, a message from Elton John, extended musical sequences, deleted scenes, and more. Magnificent, gloriously off the charts says. Stephanie Sewick time. By the way, I bought all the Blu rays brand new. One of the best films of the year. Unlike anything you ever seen, says uh, Jane Hamilton, WFLD TV Fox. Certified Fresh Rotten Tomatoes. The Blu-ray includes extended musical sequences, 10 deleted and extended scenes, and sing-along. This is, uh... I just noticed this was a Canadian copy. But the running time for this movie is, uh, 121 minutes. Here's the booklet. And here's the actual rating for the U.S release. It says the 2 d for language throughout some drug use and sexual content. I'm going to show you the booklet in a second, but let's get through the case first. And use the Blu-ray disc and the DVD, the DVD disc. <coughs> Here's the digital movie code. It expires on August 27th, 2021. If you want it, you've got the memo. As always, and here's the ad for the Me Elton John book. And this small booklet actually looks the same as the front as uh, this actual book shown here. Pretty interesting. And here's this uh, booklet. I'm gonna flip to this real quick. Let me get this back in. <clears throat> uh, the next Blu-ray I'm going to show you is the one I actually did watch today. Because I absolutely wanted to. Since I didn't have a movie theater in my area. Next one is Aladdin. Really good remake. And I don't think most of you are going to agree with me on this. But uh, I actually like this a lot better than the original. Uh, original animated one. That's just my opinion, so... Yeah. Blu-ray DVD digital code. This one has Will Smith. Bonus includes blueberries, delete seats, and more. Redeem your digital copy today. Movies anywhere. 
Oh, this and the other blue I'm gonna show you, I got them yesterday. If I didn't say so already. <clat> A classic is born, says Marcus Edwin, ABC TV. An entertaining magic card provided for fans old and new, says Keen, CNET. Special features are deleted scenes, bloopers, deleted song, there's a moon, behind the scenes look at the magic of a Latin and much more. VDPG for some mild for some action pro running time is 128 minutes. A lot longer than the uh, animated version, which I do have the 2004 Platinum Edition Special Edition VHS of that movie. It's the actual case. <clears throat> Use the Blu-ray disc and the DVD disc. Disney Movie Rewards Code, already used. If y'all want to try it for the movies anyway, go right ahead. I highly doubt it's gonna work though. Can't guarantee it. No promises, since I've already used it for my Disney Movie Rewards account. Once again, it's gonna become as Disney Movie Insiders on September 26th. And that was an ad for Disney Movie, movie Club. Which, that is not good. Don't trust them, because they will charge you a lot, like it did to me in the past. Last Blu-ray. Men in Black International. Blu-ray DVD Digital, with Chris Hemsworth and Tisa Thompson. Chris Hemsworth and Tisa Thompson are an incredible duo, says Peter Travis Rolling Stone. I did like the other three Men in Black movies, so I decided to get this one. Uh, Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones don't appear in the franchise anymore, but it's okay. Skyfire Entertainment for the whole family says William Bunami the Rap. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And here's the long list of special features. Pause the video. To read them. Rated PG-13 for Skyfi action, some language, and suggestive material. Running time is uh, 115 minutes. Approximately. It's the actual case. Use the blurry disc with artwork and unfortunately the DVD with a clear disc. I absolutely hate these a lot. I don't know why they keep on doing them. Here's the digital movie code. Expires on December 31st, 2020. So if you want it, you got the memo. And I was going to use this for my Sony Rewards account, but, well, here's an ad for Men in Black Global Invasion game. Over here, you no longer get actual movies from Sony Rewards. You get them as digitals. I definitely prefer collecting movies over digital. So digital is not easy to keep up with, so. So basically, Sony Rewards is nothing but a piece of fun. It used to be good back in the day, but not anymore. And lastly, but not least, the two Wii games I bought from GameStop in Odessa, Texas on September 5th. Unfortunately, I was unable to do movie hunting. So, yeah, very disappointing, but I'm going to show you the two Wii games I got anyway. Okay. This one is the 2006 Wii game of GT Pro Series. And it actually has been quite a while since I've collected any Wii games. So, yeah. Grab the wheel and hang on tight. Race 80 identically mod mod model cars, each with 11 turnable components, split screen multiplayer modes for up to 4 players, dominate the competition in drift mode by mastering awesome drift combos. Ready to for everyone. And here's the disc. This I didn't fix. I'm gonna have to do that before I play this. Here's the instruction booklet, which flip to this. And on the back it's got an ad for you. Monsters 4x4 World Circuit. I guess that's a website game. I don't know. And for this last one, this comes in the GameStop case. And it is. Let me look at the disc. Where's that? The 
2008 Wii game of Hasbro Family Game Night. This is the first one. Here's the disc. This one, I didn't really need to fix, but this one worked fine when I played it. This one didn't, so I'm gonna have to fix that. And I didn't know what games were here when I got it, so as soon as I popped it in and figured them all out, I decided to make my list and paint and put it all out. So, so here are the games that were on this one that you could play on this. I know there's two and three, which I'm hoping to find sometime. I'm thinking about getting that in a double feature, which. I'll try it by sometime next week. And there y'all have it. That's gonna do it for this uh get these out of the way. That's gonna do it for this week's update. VHS DVD Blu-ray and Wii game update for September 14th, 2019. Hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next upload. Oh one more thing, um uh, I did order another Blu-ray from eBay today. I'm actually going to post that in my community tab. I'm done for good. This is Fabian's Media Corner 2001 signing out. <clears throat>